Hello guys and welcome back to this part 4 of create your own application with Node.js. Um, last time we learned how to sign up, how to register a user, how to connect the application to a database. Uh, it, was, it was a lot of stuff, right? Today we're going to learn how to do error messages and how we're going to secure routes. Um, very important, this time it will be more um, uh, focused on the feature we're going to learn. Um, so I'm really going to focus on this specific part. So we have our application ready here. Um, we can get started. So basically, I'm going to write npm run dev in the terminal. You guys can follow along. Here we go. And then we can go to um, localhost 3000, right? Here we go. It's already ready with me. So in localhost 3000, we see our application. We have home. We have about. We have a login page and a sign up page. Uh, these are still working, so I'm very happy. So the first problem we had last time was that when we were signing in and it was the wrong password, it wouldn't give you any message. It was just going to refresh. So basically, when I sign in with my email address, but I have the wrong password, it just refreshed. And me as a user, I don't know what's going on right now. Am I signed in? Am I not signed in? Obviously, I'm not. But why am I not signed in? Was it my password? Was it my email address? What was wrong here? So what we want to do is we want to add an error message, basically. The same when signing up, we would like to have an error message that when um, the email address is, for instance, already taken by another user, it was going to notify you of this and then you'll be fine and you know, like, okay, I can just sign in. Okay, so let's get started with it. The first things we want to be doing is we want to go to our application and we want to check out which where we already located error messages because as last time I told you we I put flash here remember and I told you guys this is for the next time it's a different feature I don't want to explain everything at once it's going to be overwhelming so that's why we're going to look at it today so basically we used connect flash here and we are using flash in our application and if you're going to look at our routes so let's go to the home route here and we have a bunch of routes here. And one of our routes, basically, when we're doing a signup, is going to do a rec.flash. And it's going to say error. And then it's going to say there's already an account with this email. And this is when we sign up. It's going to let us know that if it finds an email with this, um, if it finds a user with this email address, it's going to tell you, like, look, there's already an account with this email. <clears throat> You're probably, um, you probably just want to sign in. Um, or sign up with a different email address. I don't know, it depends on what your goals are, of course. So basically, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to um, expand this feature, use this feature, so we basically get error messages and information messages. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to be doing is we want to go to our index file. And in our index file, we're going to add locals. And these locals are going to be error messages, and they're going to be um, information messages. Okay, so in our index, we're going to say, the first thing we're going to say is um, res.locals.errors, or dot .error, you can choose, um, equals rec.flash.error. And then res.locals.info equals rec.flash.info. Here we go. And then we have the next page, which the next uh, function, which will just make you go to the rest of the routes. As you remember last time, we connected the current user to this locals variable as well. So then we can also use it in our routes, for instance. Um, so if we're going to our header, you will see that we used this uh, right here, right? So we say current user dot username equals welcome current user dot username. Um, so basically, we do the same with our error messages. So we're, when we're going to flash an error to this, um, when we're going to do reg.flash with an error message, for instance, we do it right here in our signup page right here, error, there's already an error, an account with this email. We're going to flash this, basically. That's how, it, how it's going to work. So the next part we want to do is we want to say, where do we want to flash this, right? So I, I'm going to choose for the header. So what I would like to have is that there's like a an error message above here that basically says you should be um, using this email or your uh, your password is invalid, right? So we can go to our container here, um, our header file, and we go to container. And we're going to type in this container 
percent if locals dot error and error dot length is bigger than zero and actually we can just say if error because we add it to our local and then we say percent and then here again so this ajs syntaxis that you're used to now um, and then we're gonna say div I'm not sure if I can do div dot alert yeah it works like this too so alert um, danger role is alert and then inside here we're just gonna give you the error message so we're just gonna say error so basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna give you an error message so an alert with an error message um, what we're so we're assigning when we use the router we're assigning the reg dot flash to this error variable through our locals and then we can use this in our template and right now I chose to use this in the header above the page where it can be seen generally so let's take a look if our application didn't crash yet because it's always possible of course so log in it's fine so this means technically if everything should work and I'm not sure about this, but let's hope so, it will. Um, and I'm logging in with the wrong password. It's gonna give me an error message. Let's take a look. So I'm just logging in. I'm giving a wrong password, sign in. Yep, here we are, invalid password. Let's say for instance, I'm using an email address that doesn't exist. No user has that email. Great. And if I try to sign up and I'm saying like, Oh, my name is John and I'm John the testing. I forgot totally that I have an account on this website, right? And I click sign up. There's already an account with this email. So basically our um, error messages are implemented. That's how easy it was. And before I continue, I want to show you guys uh, an extra thing because we're going to also add information messages. So basically information messages, if we go to our code here, we're gonna put here as well, it's just gonna be an alert, also like this bootstrap alert, but then with an info. For instance, uh, you don't have access to this route, do this or something like that. Um, because we're gonna use this later on to, in this tutorial. So we're gonna do, you can just copy the code and just do it with me and then just change this to info, info.length um, and then here as well, info, this is it. And now if we will connect an info message, so if we're gonna do like in this, um, in this uh, route here, info, it's gonna connect it to the info, basically. You're gonna see this in a little bit because um, we're gonna use this for our next feature, which is securing routes. But for now, um, just, just assume, okay, it's, um, it's gonna work like that. Um, also, I want to show you guys if there's a failure flash on login, this is why where these messages come from, right? That there's an invalid password and stuff. So this is flash that, that helps here. Um, so basically, that's how it works right now. We have we have an regular flash error, and we give our we give us this message. I hope you guys understand what that, what it means here, right? So basically, we connect this flash to our locals. We registered it in our app.js, and that's how we can just flash error messages throughout our application. Um, the next part will be, we wanna secure our route. So I basically, as I said, we're gonna make a blog website, and we wanna have a page where we have all the posts on, um, that we created ourselves, and that I need to be signed in to access, right? So we're gonna do this now, which is called securing routes. So basically, um, the first thing you can do is you can add a new route, which is going to be the posts route. So we go to home and we're going to, I'm just going to add it right above login. So I'm going to add like a router.get um, and then we're going to say slash uh, my posts or something like this. And then the function rec res, you guys know the drill, right? I guess you've done this already a million times now and then home slash, um, and I guess, I'm not sure, but I guess I'm gonna just call it posts um, instead of my posts, because it seems like a little bit closer. Um, okay, so we're gonna go with posts. And this is how it is right here. 
we have a new thing. What we need to do now is add a new view in our home folder, in our view folder, which is called posts.hjs. And then I'm just gonna copy from the home page our code from before, paste it in here and say, welcome to the post page. And that's it. And so now, if I, if I did everything correct, which is possible that I didn't, but let's just assume I did, then we have welcome to the post page. But of course, I want this page only to be accessible once I'm signed in. I don't want this page to be accessible when you're not signed in because it makes no sense because it's about my posts as a user. And the second thing is I don't want to have a public page like that. So I want to secure this route. And to secure a route in Node.js, you're going to use middleware. And middleware is going to allow you, right before you're going to access the route, this middleware code will execute and then will check, basically, if the user is authenticated, yes or no. And if he is, it will allow the route to be viewed. If he isn't, it won't. If this sounds a little bit uh, abstract right now, don't worry about it. We're going to just do it and you're going to understand it very well. So let's go to uh, make a new folder in our application and call it auth. And then I'm going to make um, a uh, new file here, which I'm going to call auth.js. Here we go. And then we're just going to say, all right, um, uh, I'm going to call this, I'm going to type this here because I think it's important that when you guys get back to it, that you still know what it is. So I'm going to say middleware to check if user is logged in and that's exactly the method we're gonna write so this is what this method here in this file is gonna do don't be mistaken this auth file will have many more methods to authenticate users in different ways imagine if you have different roles let's say you have an admin or you have a, a different type of user that can see different data you're gonna check this here but right now this is not the case so we're just gonna go with the most basic method and I'm going to call it ensure auth. And ensure auth is a function um, which is ensure authenticated. And this has a rec, a res, and a next. And then we type it like this. Okay, so basically this is middleware function. The way you can recognize a middleware function very well is with the next. Basically the next means I want to go to the next part. I want to continue this. And if you execute this method, you're basically gonna continue going through with the operation. So your middleware is gonna, con is gonna go further to the actual execution of your route. In the case this is not executed, then you will do something else. You'll see it now because this is the logic we will make. So if is authenticated, you remember this is authenticated method from the last part, I suppose. Uh, so we're gonna check if the user is authenticated, right? If this is the case, hit next which means just go to this route and continue. You can access this route next. In the other case, we say else, and we're gonna flash a mes message, because in this case, um, this is possible because we configured it in the previous part, like in the previous, uh, um, in the first part of the episode. So you're gonna say, you must be logged in to see this page. It's an info message, so this is the first time we're gonna check whether our info messages work as well. And then we're gonna say res.redirect um, to the login page. Here we go. And as you know, with functions in, in, um, in Node.js, we have to export it as well. So we can say module.exports equals ensure auth equals ensure authenticated. Uh, I'm so sorry, um, ensure authenticated equals ensure auth. So our variable basically that we're exporting. Um, here we go. And that's it. So we make sure that we are authenticated right now and we can use this function. Um, so the only thing that is left for us to do is to secure our route. And the way I'm gonna show you this is very simple. We're gonna try it again so I can still access the posts page, right? So we're just gonna go to the route. We're gonna go to um, home, and then here we're gonna import. Uh, we're gonna import this function, right? So we go to var ensure authenticated equals require auth slash auth dot ensure authenticated, and then 
all we have to do is add this middleware to our route. And this is done like this. So now this middleware function will be executed before it executes the logic in our route. That's it. And now if I'm gonna try, it should tell me an info message. I don't know if it's gonna work though, but it should tell me an info message that I um, should be authenticated to see this page. Here we go, you must be logged in to see this page. The only thing I notice now is that it's red and I would like to have it blue because it's not really an error. So the thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check in the header because something must have been wrong there. Uh, and as I said, this is pure coding, you forget shit. Yes, exactly, here we go, this should be info. So if I'm gonna try this again, and I'm gonna go to posts, here we go, you must be logged in to see this page, and this is exactly what I wanted to see. So now let's try to log in and try to access this page right now. So we try to access this page. Here we go, we're on the post page. Is that not amazing? So it works, basically we, can secure our routes now. So we made it possible to give the user um, custom messages. We also redirect the user to the login page when he's going to a route that is um, that you need should be authenticated for. So the route is from now on protected. Um, in the next episode, we're gonna learn how to add blog posts. So we're gonna basically um, create um, in this posts page, we're gonna create the option to add blog posts and publish them to a feed. And this feed is gonna be accessible for everybody. Uh, like the Facebook feed a little bit. All right, so that was it today. So what did we do today? A quick recap. We basically made sure that we could authenticate this route here so no other user can access it except if he's logged in. We created alerts basically to tell um, error message or something like that. Uh, or an information message. Um, in the next part, we're also gonna learn how we can in, secure our routes much more generally. Like imagine if you have many routes, you have to type ensure authenticated everywhere. It starts to become a drag a little bit. So there's other ways to make this more clean. Um, and this is also why we, in the second part, organized our routes in such fashion. Um, thank you very much for watching guys. I really enjoy all the support and the comments and and everything like it, it really drives me to make a lot more. So the next in the next episode we're gonna learn to add blog posts. We're gonna learn to basically um, add new blog posts, new um, to create one, to delete a blog post and to, to publish it to the feed. And we're gonna see some new concepts there as well. Um, stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next one. Bye-bye guys. Bye.